these housemates are full of surprises you guys like yesterday they were fighting about food and today they were fighting about food again and it's not only this year or l last year like literally every year there is always a fight about food like why guys i don't know whether you watched tonight's episode or not but it was so amazing i loved it like i love to see men cry i love to see men be themselves and prince crying whether he cried for a good reason or for a bad reason like i was it made me it made me you know feel that feel that vulnerability you know of him so um guys a lot happened tonight but um like a lot happened tonight but not that much like many many different things didn't happen but a lot didn't happen did happen and we are going to talk about so um the first thing you guys the the first thing that i'm going to talk about is like the falling out of friendship or the disconnection of friendship between ozo and prince so this is what happened prince complained uh, like first of all a video was played and then later on ebuka was like what happened between like there was some sort of code between the relationship or the friendship or situationship that was going on between ozo and prince because before they seemed to be cool and then things fell out so what was the cause of this and if you can remember if you watch this show you notice that it was quite true so ozo had to you know speak and then ozo complained that no prince complained that I was getting close to Ozo. I was trying to fix things. Sometimes, you know, even when he, Prince, spoke about something and everybody was contributing, Ozo would stay quiet or he doesn't want to interfere in the discussion and stuff like that. So sometimes, like, since he wanted to drag Ozo into it because he saw Ozo as a friend, he would be like, my guy, what do you think? You know, that kind of thing. And Ozo would be cold, he doesn't want to talk, and things like that. So Ebuka was like, Ozo, what was going on? You are one of the people that is very cool, you don't look for trouble so much. So why would you be the one that is kind of, you know, cutting off a relationship? So Ozo was like, um, he noticed that, he noticed that, there, like, there was this certain competition or task that he won one million and a trip so normally all of them go for these competitions all of them do this task but everybody cannot win right so when ozo won when ozo won uh like prince was so so angry about it like prince was not really angry but he was so sad to the extent that he went to bed and he was just in bed calm quiet and sad so even though ozo is the one that won ozo couldn't celebrate it so he felt bad that okay you're not happy that i won like everybody cannot win like even when others win ozo himself he celebrates you know so prince was sad about it and then when he brought this up almost all of the housemates i think all of them agreed to this like it was true then they complained like all of them complained they saw it as a problem because normally it's normal that um everybody goes into a competition wanting to win but at the end not everybody can win right so why was he so sad like he's the only one that has lost why because all these housemates complained about this very thing then prince was like no the fact that i was sad okay yeah they complained that he was too competitive and even lucy complained the same thing now um v also gave the same complaint like he was too competitive like he's rushing he wants to win he doesn't want to lose he's making like if he doesn't win that's the end of his life you know stuff like that and anytime that he doesn't win there's always he's always sad you know there's always a problem he's always making as if you know now so um as he come as also so also when also noticed this he said okay fine this guy doesn't want my success because even when also won the car it's like he was also so sad and things like that meanwhile if he was the one that had won if prince was the one that had won also would have been happy about it so also kind of tried to walk out of the relationship or kind of became cold feet towards the relationship and 
while every other housemate had to give their opinion about this this is what <laughs> t-batch had to say t-batch was like yeah i already know that prince was like that but i couldn't take it like any other housemates because i had a situation ship you know it is when t-batch all of us knew what was going on between like the situation ship between t-batch and prince but it, it's only when they came out of the house that it became so obvious especially during the reunion show because that's when we got to find out that t batch like they were in a relationship t batch loved him so much they went for interviews together and stuff like that but um you know even before then so t batch was like i already know that this guy is like this and i don't have to re like i don't have to react towards him like any other housemate is going to react you know so even though that um praise and dora they didn't actually notice that that was a prince like prince kind of character or way of living they said they didn't notice at all but many other housemates noticed that so prince this was in prince defense he was like oh this is a competition like this is a freaking competition i came here to win and if i don't win i'm sad about it why do you have to blame me because even me personally i feel like i don't really think that um it was necessary for prince to exaggerate because he was overly competitive in almost all the games like in all the games which is okay but the sadness the resentment and every other thing that he felt anytime that he won it was not that necessary but i think that it was some sort of honesty because there are people who would who would lose and they'll be like congratulations they, they they pretend to be happy for you but honestly or deep within they are not happy at all you know but he was kind of honest he was kind of honest about it he was not happy and he wouldn't lie about it and then he, in his defense he said that um this is a competition so if i am overly competitive it's just normal why would you come for a show when you would not be happy that somebody is being very competitive you should come for a show knowing that you can meet people like me which is very normal and then the fact that he's sad doesn't mean that he's angry okay the fact that he's sad that he didn't win doesn't mean that he's angry that somebody else won so for me personally i feel like uh i feel like he was honest and it's just that he exaggerated it you know he exaggerated it his honesty is quite understood understandable but he kind of um you know made it to be over noticeable i don't know how to put it but yeah and then he was also angry that when he left the house after watching the videos he noticed that um like housemates were always talking about him against him and this was especially between neo and v then other housemates and then in neo's defense and v's defense they were like what in the house everybody was talking about everybody you know so even though neo accepted that he did talk about about prince he didn't see any reason to apologize because other he knew that other housemates were talking about him other housemates were probably gossiping about him so it was not something to really argue about and then at the end new was um v, prince was so pissed that he even cried because like he was trying to explain it he was so mad like nobody was seeing reasons with him almost all the housemates even those that at the beginning they were like they didn't notice that prince was like that at the end as others were bringing out things and experiences and other stuff that happened in the house he was now beginning to see reasons and away from that guys um ebuka was like okay who do you think was easily triggered or who do you think was pretending in the house and in as much as some some people like some of the housemates said nengi was because in the house nengi was twerking she was doing this she was doing that and out of the house nengi was absolutely different like she's she well she still has that kind of life but she's kind of calm statue kind of person but in this case most of the people said um they don't think they didn't think a lot of a lot of people like kaisha also is one of those people that they said he was she was pretending like she wasn't herself she was fake like nengi um yeah and then but not everybody 
thinks that Nengi or Kaisha was fake. When they were talking about this thing, Neil said that instead he thinks that Lucy is one of the realest people. Like he was, she was one of the realest people. Why? Because even though Lucy had lots of issues with people, out of the house, Neil noticed that she was being herself. Um, like Lucy was a calm, was a homely person, organized person, things like that, always trying to make sure that things are in place and out of the house, she was that same kind of the person. It's true that in the house, Lucy like appeared to be rude, you know, harsh and stuff like that, authoritative, but some in somehow she was kind of homely and then those housemates really agree like many of them really agree that that is home lucy is out of the house like business wise that's why she's one of those people when when lucy left the house she launched her business she was one of the first people that launched her business when the show was not even ended yet to show that that was whom she was in the house and that was exactly the same person out of the house and even if she didn't change she didn't change much guys this video is already at 11 minutes and i don't want to make a very long video for you guys so now the next part i'm going to talk about guys is the one that literally led to a fight or oh, they actually fought you know kenna when something concerns katrina lucy and others you already know that there's going to be fire in it so guys i think it's a lot to talk about so i'm just going to you know break it and then you can watch it in another video so if you watched to this point i'm so grateful i'm so sorry for the lighting i can't really explain what's going on but i just wanted to make this video so that those who did not watch will be able to catch up so guys please do well to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then check the next video because i'm going to tell you the ghost bus part of tonight's show you know so stay tuned guys and thanks for watching